What's up? As you know, I'm a minimalist and I like to call myself an intentionalist. So I actually only have, I guess including this, five objects here that I take with me on a daily basis. Stick around to the end of this video, I'm gonna share a couple more things that I take around with me more often than not, but not every day. So let's get into it. First and foremost, we've got the Apple Watch Ultra, which you may or may not have seen the video on my channel. I actually won this at a business conference I went to. Super lucky in that same conference. I also won $1,000, so super lucky uh, business conference that I went to. Thank you to my company for sending me there. But I had no intentions of getting a new Apple Watch. I had the Series 4 before this, but I've really been enjoying the Ultra, mostly for the battery life and bigger screen you know, all the things people love about the Ultra, I've been enjoying as well. Just moving along here, I have kept the iPhone 13 Pro. Uh, great phone, great camera on this phone. Um, I used to upgrade every year, but thinking through it this year, I decided not to upgrade to the 14 lineup. And as you can see, I have the silver, um, which looks really white. I always like the look of a, a white iPhone. Um, I always bounce back and forth between like the space gray dark option and the lighter option, the silver. So I love this, great phone. I didn't have a need to upgrade. I'm gonna try and be more intentional with my upgrades moving forward with everything. On the iPhone 13 and most old iPhones I've had, I love the Apple leather case. I've thought about making a video about why this is my favorite case. This year, or I guess last year, this was the closest like brown leather they had, which was called golden brown. And I'll show you here in a second what that golden brown looks like right out of the box. This actually looks a lot better than it did when I first got it. That patina is always really nice and people love that about the leather cases. So I always rock a leather case. Every now and then I pick up like a silicone case or the clear case, but I always return to the leather. I just think it's, the best of all the worlds in terms of uh, protection and looking nice for your iPhone device. So maybe more on that in a future video. Next is, and this is what I'm talking about. I really wish that the brown leather was different. Um, this, I just picked this up the other day because my, my old MagSafe wallet, I guess it's called, from the year before, which was a darker brown color. And this was, this is the closest thing they have. And as you can see, like this is, this is orange, like <laughs> it's focusing on my dog, which by the way, this is, this is buddy. He's going to be interrupting. I'm sure this, <laughs> this is like orange, like fully orange and it's called golden brown and I get it, but this is really orange. And I, I'm glad that as you can sort of tell the difference here, it turns a little more, uh, normal leathery brown over time, but this is just not my favorite look ever, but it's what was available for the iPhone and I wanted the wallet to match. I love the Apple wallet. I keep three cards in here, two, um, two debit cards for budgeting purposes that my wife and I do. And then of course my driver's license. And that's, that's all I take with me, just those three cards. So keeping it minimal, you know, this is just a nice little pack of things that I need. I'm very excited for the future where we no longer need wallets or keys and you can just have your phone. That's gonna be awesome. Next to last are my keys. I have a Hyundai Elantra with a nice little key fob there. I think key fobs are awesome. I just wish I could use my phone to start my car. That would make a lot of sense. And I know more car companies are moving towards that with Apple, which is gonna be awesome to have in the future or one day when I have a Tesla, it's gonna be awesome. I've got my home key here and then my work key and then Apple AirTag, which was great. My wife got me this and I love like that brown is so much better than this like orange kind of deal. Ugh. I will note this MagSafe wallet does have the find my feature, which my old one didn't. And I tend to lose my wallet more than my keys. So I'm really excited about that. You know, if I leave it somewhere, I can actually track it down which is super cool. And I'm really not sure how they fit that tech in there, but really cool. So, and it lets me know, for those of you who don't know, it lets me know when I detach it from my phone, it gives me a notification saying, hey, your wallet's not on your phone anymore after like a minute or two, something like that. And then obviously you can find it on a map, which is super cool. Two more things, I think. So this was what I was gonna share last. This is just um, a Bible verse. This one's John 1.1. 1, 1. And this company is called, um, the Bible Memory Project, I think, Bible Memorization Project. It's a subscription 
very cheap. They send you a band per week, so four bands each month, and it just encourages you to memorize scripture. Super cool, it comes with stickers and like bookmarks and stuff too to help you memorize scripture as well. I've enjoyed it. I haven't been doing it as much as I should have or should be, but it's still good to wear. It's a good conversation starter, and I think it looks fine too. Like it's not those, you know, live strong, thick, thicker versions uh, and nice and simple. So I enjoy wearing it. Last thing I guess with my EDC is my melon hats, which I made a video about in the past. I still don't love the way these look. And in fact, weirdly enough, this was my least favorite of the three versions of hat that they sent me. And it's the one that I wear most. I think I just like the black with a logo, some sort of logo, whatever it is. As you all know, I wore the Adidas hat in the past uh, religiously. So I don't know. I don't like how tall it is, but I think it looks nice and I enjoy wearing it. So as a minimalist, this is what I do. Keep this one in my front right pocket. This is in my front left. As I promised, I'll add in a couple more things. So I used to take my AirPods with me everywhere I go, but now I work specifically like at home or at work. I usually keep these at home and then at work I have um, some Sony MX100 for whatever they're called, headphones. So I don't take these with me as much anymore as I used to, but every now and then, it's good to have these uh, with me if I'm going to maybe work at a library or um, coffee shop, something like that. The last thing, which this was in my last EDC, um, is the Ricoh GR3. Uh, I just traded out my Sony a7 III for a Fujifilm X-T4, which I'm shooting this video on, so let me know how it looks. Literally first video, still learning this camera, but um, this is a great street photography point and shoot camera. I still love it a lot. And a lot of times I just slip this into my left pocket and have it there, especially if I know I'm going downtown or somewhere where I could do some street photography, I'll slip that in my pocket, put my keys in my back right. I don't like having a lot of stuff on me. I like being as prepared as possible for any sort of event, but I found these are the things that work well for me. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one. I think you're gonna love it. I appreciate you all very much. We're over 10,000 subscribers, which has blown my mind, and it's all thanks to you guys. Feel free to share this video, like it, helps the algorithm, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.